about YouTube. So my subscribers have brought to my attention that I didn't have any pricing in any of my videos. I find that hard to believe. I'm sure there was a video somewhere. Maybe it's on my other channel, Edward Mann's channel. So anyway, let's talk pricing. Our pricing starts out with a $85 trip charge. At the base of everything, it's $85 plus parts and labor. That's how it works. I know Google and most people would love to believe that there's a flat fee for everything. No. In fact, most people don't even know what they need. They just got a problem. Some things are simple, but other things are a lot more complex than they think. So yeah, we charge an $85 trip charge plus parts and labor. So let's talk about what that means. For residential locks and commercial locks, there's what's called rekeying the lock. So that means we're changing the combination of pins in there so your old key doesn't work anymore and your new key does. So we give you new keys. So it's a $85 trip charge plus $25 per cylinder. Most locks are a single cylinder lock with a thumb turn on the inside, but there is such a thing as a double cylinder. That means there's a keyhole on the outside and a keyhole on the inside of that lock. Yeah, it's not $25 per lock. It's not $25 per door. It's $25 per lock cylinder. I mean, if we were in New York, crap, you'd have 10 lock cylinders just on one door. It's crazy. So, no, it's not per door. We give you five free keys for the visit. After that, it's $3.50 per code key, not copy. We don't we don't even sell copies of keys. Because at some point, you're just going to get bad copies made off copies, and that's not how it's done, and then you think we're responsible for it. No, no, not at all. So I only give out code keys nowadays. So let's talk about lockout service, car lockouts specifically. It's easy to give a flat rate on that. It's $100 per car open up that we do. If you really gotta have the breakdown, that's $85 trip charge plus $15 labor, $100. Now house open ups, business open ups, office open ups, where we gotta pick the lock, we charge a bit more and we can do that we're not competing with tow truck drivers that don't know anything. So to pick open a lock, lockout service on residential commercial, the total is $120. So what's the breakdown? That's right, $85 trip charge plus $35 labor. That's our lockout service. Now for lock installation. For lock installation on residential homes, there is the price of an $85 trip charge plus $35 per lock installed if the holes are already cut. If the holes are already cut, we just need to mount it, put it in there and warranty it and, and take off. So it's $85 trip charge plus $35 per lock. But there's such a thing as a fresh install. Now imagine you have a door that has no deadbolt on it, but it's got a knob lock. We got to do a fresh install. That's not $35, that's $55. So $55 per lock that needs a fresh install. It just takes a lot more labor. Now, when it comes to commercial locks, there's a variety of pricing, but everything starts out with our $85 trip charge. Say you have an aluminum glass door that needs a Adams Wright lock. Say you have an existing one there and we sell you the product. We'll get to the pricing a little bit on, in a little bit about that. To replace the existing lock, we charge $45 labor. It's a little more extensive, folks, than a house. So $45 labor to replace the lock plus the cost of the lock and of course our $85 trip charge. Don't forget rekeying. If we have to rekey a lock cylinder, then yeah, we're going to attack on $25 per cylinder for that. No flat rate. Notice that? Yeah. The harder we work, the more we make. That's how it's done. That's how you do it, right? Yeah. Okay. 
So a fresh install for an Adam's right bolt or latch, the labor is $135, not including trip charge or product cost. Now the installation of door closers, there's already a pre-existing door closer there. We charge $45 labor to replace it. A fresh install is gonna be $65. Now if we're talking about deadbolts or lever locks, you know, the kind that would actually fit in a hole on a house, it's the same labor as residential. That's $35 labor to replace the lock, um, but uh, $55 for a fresh install for a de normal deadbolt that goes on a normal door, not an aluminum glass door. So that's simple. Some keyless entry locks on commercial doors, the labor can run up to $85. A standalone unit that's not hardwired or anything like that, $85 labor plus the $85 trip charge per keyless entry. It takes more money to do it, templates and all, and product, tools, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of money in tools. We have to replace tools constantly. There's always overhead with tools. So a lot of people call and ask about small format locks, such as mailbox locks, desk locks. So it's $85 trip charge, plus the cost of the lock, whatever that is. And of course, $35 labor. Now it's really funny how a lot of people believe that locksmiths have low overhead. It's amazing to me. Well, you didn't have to get an education. Yeah, I educated myself. It took 38 years. All the tools, equipment, insurance, cell phones. Listen, if any locksmith cuts corners in regards to their costs, commercial insurance, you're gonna pay. You're gonna, you're gonna pay if they mess it up because they're not covering it. If you're a legitimate locksmith company, you're gonna have some serious overhead. Now there was a time where pricing increases were once every five years. It's almost every year now. That's not our fault. It's not that we need a raise. We don't need a raise. We're talking about the cost of living, the cost of tools, the cost of gasoline, the cost of uh, the retail. And we have no control over the retail market. In some cases, I tell the customers, go get their own locks off Amazon, especially the keyless entry locks. But we do have locks that are fair, fair price and we're able to you know, make a little bit on them, but we have no control over it. So when there's a trade embargo or, or a president thinks it's funny to jack up our gasoline and we have to raise our prices each time, we have no control over that. My pricing is more than fair, it's competitive, and I'm not gonna compete with lower priced individuals who refuse to pay for commercial truck insurance, commercial liability insurance. They, they really don't pay for much at all. Beware what you end up with in the end. Let's see now, am I forgetting any pricing? If I did, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know. Maybe I can answer your question. So I want to thank my YouTube viewers for questioning what locksmith pricing is. Uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have done this video. I'm Fast Eddie. Fast Eddie's Keys Express. Locksmith Services of Minneapolis, Minnesota. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I know I will. Bye-bye.